We're in Wildwood, New Jersey at the Shalimar Hotel, Motel. And today at the Cinecee, we are running my print in 35 millimeter Technicolor scope of Son of Sinbad. You get this nifty poster too when you win the movie of the day. I wanted you to see though, this movie is in the new anamorphic process super scope on the giant widescreen. The giant widescreen. We need a giant widescreen to project me. Anyway, let's go in and see what happens with a film like this. Jeff is now making up the show, basically. So he is splicing original leader to original leader. This way, he won't break the show at the film at the scene change and then the film will retain the never plattered print there's a couple more reels of it there and the paper leaders are here so so the film is on five reels son of Sinbad. now they say on the leader it'll tell you which eye it is because originally this was uh, three dimensions. Let me see if there's any other marking. There's nothing on the paper leader. Maybe we'll look later and see if the leader actually says a certain eye on it. That is dye transfer technicolor. See, this is where we'll be running the movies tonight, this afternoon. Aha, I see. Going to market. See, you can see all the film people involved. It's quite something. Well, we are ready, almost ready. Yep, yep. And Jeff has threaded the projector. Of course, I'm sure this is 42 channel stereo. <laughs> no, it's not. But it is Technicolor. But we have a color cartoon in CinemaScope before. Now, this is, this is the regular lens. And then the CinemaScope lens screws into that. That's why, hey look, look at the size of the lens compared to my hand. That's big. Oh, that's the regular, see? See, the regular lens is small. But this, you can actually kind of see how it's going to arc the film out, so it, it, you call it letterbox. Right. Now, ideally, if we had a bigger screen, we could fill the screen from top to bottom, but we won't in this case. And the first three reels or two? This is the first two with a short. The, the first top. two reels with a short, and uh, then we're going to have reel two. That's correct. And reel two is back here. We're ready. Why not warn you that this six times when 
Ready to run now the last three reels, which this young man has spliced into a, a large, larger reel. See, he's still threading, but Son of Sinbad Part Three. <laughs> Original leaders. So th that's important when you're a collector. Very important. Very important, right? Yeah, Original yeah. leaders that nobody has tampered with. Yes, that's right. The mountain commander just 
By now we could have absconded with the caliph's gold and sit on a, on a barge on our way to Africa as we planned for years. Oh, well. So, this is the end of the film, and of course we saw that projected. The end credit is missing the fade out of the music. Uh, you can see right here that it splices into the original film, but I guess the fade out is missing, but I want you to see something. Uh, I want you to see the cue marks are clearly printed on here. Oh, I went past them. There we go. Do you see those? That means that in eight seconds, the film will fade out. So it is missing the end music and the fade out of the end title. But because it's only eight seconds, there would not have been a cast list. Just the end. And then that really good music score would have come to a conclusion. So. Look at that. And we're getting ready for our evening uh, showing after we finish Son of Sinbad. And uh, here's our Cinecy cake for this year. Sinbad and Peach is Pete the James and the Giant Peach and Cinecy. And Doug, you should do the honors of cutting it. You should. I'll feel so bad By if rights. I cut into Sinbad. You have to cut into Sinbad. I'll feel bad if I cut into Sinisee, absolutely. Oh. Cutting into Peach isn't going to bother me too much, but uh, you're well, right. We haven't seen the Peach film. Uh, do we actually have a... Re I could just use I the answer, should yes. I? Yes, yeah, that has a cut you on sure? it. Yeah, that'll be good. Well, that'll be good. Well, the cake is gone. We have three slices, but I'm going to have one. People are successfully eating. We're about to start tonight's show. Why did you do this, Fred? I have to line. It's the same director, so I think you'll enjoy it. If not, don't hate me too much. You had Son of Sinbad earlier, so you know, one out of two isn't bad. So. Uh, enjoy. Thank Beautiful 16 crowd. Ah, we're ready. We're ready. And After the show, we hung out in one of the apartments here. We get a chance to see some of the neons of 
Wildwood from the top apartment. Well, here we are on Saturday, and people are setting up their tables to sell films, where you can buy feature films, Experiment in Terror, The Ends of the Earth, Confession, a Boston Blackie. And then people usually have a list, uh, so you can pick out what you want. There's the Experiment in Terror. That was a Blake Edwards thriller. That was a good film. That's two and a quarter. And get it on actual film. This is the way to do it, say. This is what film collectors do. Here's another table. Here's one over here with a lot of Super 8. Doug's into Super 8. Super 8 a go go. And regular 8, too. These are called digests. So, well, this is actually the whole film for 150. It's on four reels on Super 8. But they make a digest, which is a smaller version, a 20 minute version sometimes of the same film that are edited. Good stuff. Now, later today, they'll set up uh, tables uh, so we can actually do our screening tonight, which you'll see soon. There's a whole stack. Oh, oh God, look. It's mine. I have my label there. This was mine. I used to have that on the shelf. And this was the 111th episode. I was trying to collect all 190. And I wonder if my white, yep, my white leader's still on it. See, Mummy's Dummies, that's my writing. I have the release date, but the tape that was on it pulled it off. But look at that. My old print. And it will be in somebody's house soon. There's, there's actually, it's a stack of them. That was the only one that was mine at one point. I used to do the dino, dino label maker and click away. I like this film you're running. <laughs> it's called The Invisible Man. The Invisible Man. Yes. And it's in it's color? Invisible reel, too. <laughs> yes, it's oh. very good color. Look, look at the color. <laughs> oh. oh. It's supposed to happen. This is the movie we saw Son of Sinbad on. This is the projector. You can see there's a big difference in size. We have that. And we have that. Big difference in size. Moon movies here. That's the last reel of loose shoes. Reel five. Here's a real old projector. This is a sound machine. So, in the base is the amplifier, probably. And the old knobs. Bass and treble. And there's a 16 film ready to go. And this was an option an extendo reel because originally the projector only took a smaller reel and this screws into the front so you can extend it out and then you have this band here that connects to the gears that are in here okay. and of course a modern day speaker to provide you with plenty of sound stereo sound too not i'm just kidding well, Johnny and I are sitting outside our room, and I didn't get it in time. A huge amount of birds were flying past us. See, we are on the third floor, looking out on our terrace. It's our terrace, Johnny. The boys are gone. They moved way down there. Way down there. But, boy, we had a lot of them here. I'm just not fast enough on the draw, John. Well... Now, by the way, that, that's the old hotel, the, o the famous Ocean Holiday. Uh, it's been uh, empty and cleaned out, as you can see. It's empty, other than the old neon sign. I wish they lit it again, but there, of course there's no power in there. That's been devoid of activity for five years. And it's been exposed to the elements, so I wonder if they'd have to tear the whole thing down there to start over. 
I'm told that the Armada right next to it is an identical structure. They were two identical facing different ways. That's still open, but who knows? Now, the Ocean Holiday is before Johnny's days. It's kind of a nice source for the local businesses. Uh, well, and it's right on the water, too. Tied up in litigation. Uh, I think it's time I take my cartoons down to the uh, sales table, Johnny. And then we're going to go to Randy's later, too. <laughs> we have come to the Boathouse restaurant, an old hangout for dinner, and we have a group here of seven, and there's a couple other tables floating around. I may go around and try to find them. By the way, we have a group of eight. A group of eight? Yeah. Oh, did I count wrong again? <laughs> anyway, I, I'm going to start on my dinner. So this is where you were hanging out, all the way over here. Fire. <laughs> well, now we go back for tonight's show. Thank you. Yes, John Black started the show. How many years ago was it? You got your booklet. I'm doing it for the film. I feel like I'm in line up here. 2013 14, we started in another location. Oh, 2009. I know. The Bolero. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, so we went after the third show, and we remember him at the start of every show because this, there was no way this would have happened without him. However, since we took over, it's just gotten so much better. <laughs> Sorry, John. Uh, if I could tell a story like that.
There's one magical, haunted evening each year when all the scary creatures come out to prowl through every neighborhood. But here's the scariest monster of all. Do you know why? This little witch doesn't know it, but she's taking some frightening chances of being hurt. Sway on to the left, to the right, step around the and a nice light. Then twist. Almost everyone. It's almost midnight. Okay. And the average summer temperature of seven. Well, that's it. Now
seven. Ah, what a night. Well, we had some late night. Most of us stayed up, didn't we? We made it. Not most of us. Very few of us. <laughs> we got it all the way up to one. Yeah. <laughs> Our final breakfast together, it's Sunday. And we are all stumbling around. We have six at this table. We have four at this table. Joe just left. Oh, Joe's over here. This is our final video. There's Joseph. And this table here. We're all, and then we're going to go back to and pack. Oh, God, I hate packing. That's always miserable. The aftermath. The aftermath, gentlemen. The show is over. Some people have already left, but you can clearly see there's lots of uh, breakdown and lots of packing to do. We had a wonderful show. It was over just like that. See? We watched a lot of films last night. These are some, I think, of the movies that we screened last night. And I, I get my poster. I will pack Mr. Poster, see? That's one of the joys of bringing the movie, okay? That's my souvenir. Uh, now we're gonna go back to the room. Our final view of the film room. And look who's sound. Oh, a smile. Look at the smile. Because he knows me. Russ Meyer or Andy John Waters, but no, you are Todd Tucker. And that makes him very happy. And hi, I'm Stu Fink for Todd Tucky Productions. He's going to be a star when that movie comes out. Todd, you take. And you're in the same movie. Poster? I'm only in a few. Oh yeah, yeah, that's the last thing. I was going to film me picking it up. Oh, he's going to bring it to me. Look. Oh, he's got his giant peach. So I get, I get my poster. We saw that earlier. It's always a sad time when we say goodbye, Stu. Okay. Well, it's done. We're on Atlantic Avenue. We just pulled out of the Shalimar Motel. That's and right. The fun always lasts or ends way too fast. It does. We had so much fun. And we're looking forward to the next show in the spring. That's right. Twice That's a right. Year. And this time, Tammy's going to come. So, but I hope you all enjoyed our adventures at Cinecy. Until next time. Thanks for watching, folks. Adios. Good night. Now get out! We'll meet again. Don't know where. Don't know when. But I know we'll meet again. Some sunny. the phone.